I'll just run out and do it if you know where the switch is. Stu, I'm is walking this? really slowly into your camp. <laughs> Drink it in. Drink it in. That. I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. Everyone's been what looking at Lucius. Hear, my sir? <laughs> okay. What brings me here? My feet, good man. That's a long story. Where am I here? And who are you? <laughs> I know that accent. You're Neremis, aren't you? Though obviously not the most sociable of fellows, it would seem. You... There we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You want for I should chop him in half for you? <laughs> and now you're you're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. It is. Lo and behold, we <laughs> I wish are it still was. Alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? <clears throat> I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. I won't touch it. I'll use my sword. <sighs> <laughs> May Hopefully I, I don't knock it over with me back. As he lives and breathes. <laughs> Sorry about that just now. <laughs> That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village <laughs> called... I don't know how to make my way beyond the dam house. <laughs> Where is the dam house? <laughs> Your eyes. What about him? Ah, well, whatever. What, do you want me to flex my eyes? Because I will. <laughs> I can flex everything. Okay. Uh, mm, flexy. Knowledge. Can you tell me more about this religion? Or you said Both you were an apothecary. Uh, okay, what about this path thing? By the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. Is Malthus a god? Malthus? Okay. A role designate, designated by Malthus. You mean the gods assign your professions to you? Uh, mm. Not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. So yeah, exactly what I just said. I walk the path of the Eridas. <laughs> and there's also the manufacturers, the sublime. But not really. Of course, the pathless. Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession. But certain vocations that are available to an Eridite are not permitted to a manufacturer. Which <laughs> At is least it wasn't a Luddite. <laughs> However, below does not mean Sounds that a lot it is like in Eridite, any way inferior. It? <laughs> Everyone on Enderal does I want what to know why you're talking best. about professions and, and below in the, the same paragraph. Exactly that is. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting oh, thought. I didn't come up with it. I think you've been out flexed, Matt. <laughs> That's it for I now. Thanks for your like mention. <laughs> I wish you a quick recovery <laughs> and safe roads. Walk blessed. Uh, sure. Do we need Jimmy still is totally out flexing can me. I clean all the yep. tools? Places, Finn. I'm playing. Don't fuck. <sighs> I guess that means no. Yeah, what? Uh oh, scary music. What is happening to me? Apothecarius. Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Am I on shrooms? Hmm? By the righteous path. What happened to you? <laughs> you look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Because I have. <laughs> Just pick the middle one. Yes, I suddenly have this kind of fever. <laughs> Fever. Do you have any cowbell by chance? <laughs> Fever. Fever. Jeez. Well, um, there could be many causes. Good God. The lack it's of right. cowbell. I think I still have yeah. some grunt root. Yeah. Grunt root? To ease your pain, at yep. least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth right. might help you. Right. Oh, so now we're brewing potions for complete strangers. I put well. on my breeches. 
reaches one leg at a time, just like everyone else. <laughs> and then I make hit records. Gold records. Gold records. That's brilliant. Thank you. Gruntroots, Gruntroots. Ah, here we go. I've been grunting all day. <laughs> and Look at me flex. <laughs> Don't need a grunt root to flex. God. So let's see. <laughs> Sheer cap. Sheer some cup, water. Some water. Ha. Done. Done. I can't make any promises, Shit. but. Finn, the still. What? What's happening? I don't know. This is okay. They said something about a still. Really trippy. Oh, sod it! Do I really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. <sighs> hey, I'm sorry. All right, we'll pick up a new one in arc. Yeah. They're still okay. exploded. Here I thought this bloody day. Are you gonna help me or what? Because I can't oh. see Dick. This isn't getting any better. Here, no, it really this. isn't. Drink this. It'll help you. How do I know? Oh, God. I'm supposed to just trust you now. <laughs> It'll help See? make you... You already look a lot better. Yes. It'll Still, make you regular. You That's what grunt root does. fever as soon as possible. <laughs> it's the so much time grunting. <laughs> it's the lesser, <laughs> lesser grunt root. <laughs> Thanks, but what the blazes just happened there? What? You mean the still bad quality and too much heat at wager. How come the NPCs but get to use the yeah, F word and I can't? Be, <laughs> what the f I don't know. But the explosion, the voices, they were yours. Uh, explosion. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleries. Died in 8234. Cause of death, <laughs> exploding still. <laughs> Look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. Wait a second. What was that? Another still? <laughs> I could have sworn I saw something moving over here. Nope, but I want that whole backpack. Oh, shit! Uh, Blah! What the? Oh, cows. Now you can have his backpack. Yay! I can't move. I'm stuck in this chair. I can't Bastards. do anything. I can't loot him yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quick, that's what you grab it. the backpacks. Let's go. <laughs> He's not going to need that pack, is he? Holy. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, well, I guess. This is not the last game. Holy crap. Now would you look at that? Our mysterious survivor has awoken. Got it. I keep waking up from unconsciousness. It's like the fourth time now since the game started that I've been unconscious. Somebody's and woke up. giving you roofies. Uh, where am I? Who are you? He's got nice hair, so I'd believe him, whatever he says. Why does my butt hurt? <laughs> Grunt root. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. That's how Grunt Root is administered. <laughs> I didn't know. But come on, guys. Now, people are trying to listen to this story. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial, and I've already taken care of them. That's better, too. My fever? What? I suppose. Okay. <laughs> How did you know I had a fever? What have you Grunt been doing root. while I was out? <laughs> Suppositories. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's not totally out of the question. <laughs> um, oh, God. My fever. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> God. Try this cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even click because my... Yep. Quite oh, a lot, actually. You're suffering from it. first degree <laughs> arcanist's fever. I'm uh -oh. quite surprised that the old apothecary is only see first it, degree. Honest. You're suddenly capable Seems of doing worse. things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? <laughs> and you're feeling unusually strong and dizzy at the same time. Yes. While drinking herbal potions leaves a, well, kind of a, a bitter feeling in your head. <laughs> mm, drinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All of those things you're I saying to me, I know. Sufficiently exactly. derailed, Stuart. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, what else on. can I suddenly do? I'm going to save. Can I save here? No, I can't. Yeah. Some bitch. Your magical talent has broken free inside you. <laughs> oh, no. The crush ruined. <laughs> <laughs> magical talent. It's another science. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with the magic. Too much this magic! This isn't much of a problem at first, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, Good you'll find stuff. yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs Perfect. everything that moves. Hey, naked you know your mind. <laughs> hey, I've heard there's a society Run for that. through the fields naked. Grunt rock, grunt root hard as a rock. But... <laughs> <laughs> but the fever can be treated, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta give. You gotta throw a robard spin on that. Differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. So will some herbs. Oh, okay. Um. So what? I need more potions. So this fever gets worse whenever I what? Drink potions. Among other things, yes. Just as being magically gifted can make a person powerful, it can also make them <laughs> sensitive and prone to certain conditions. Every Just time you say something like magical, those wolves go, Whoa! Instead, yeah, set they up a camp somewhere. Yeah. Plus, as you've already said yourself, don't overdo it with potions. Right. Gotcha. Oh, God. And how can I treat it? With this? Grunt root extract? <laughs> what? No. That won't help you in the long run. What you need is ambrosia. A special mixture of herbs that can remedy the fever without any side effects. Right. Every good right. alchemist has that in stock, but it'll cost you. Okay. Well, good to know. How about if I sell some to you? And what about visions. these visions? <laughs> Sorry, dude, that's not normal. Uh, I'm not going to tell you about that. Uh, blah, blah. Okay. Well, that's what I'd call them. I have these kind of premonitions of things which are about to happen. <laughs> uh, are they also a side effect of the fever? No. <laughs> well, none that I know of. The only visions I ever had were those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. I can't. Hmm. Did, did, did Christopher you know Watkins face out of my head? Someone take care of your fever. <laughs> and as it happens, I know those someone glasses. who could. <laughs> but in return, I want you to tell me everything. Oh, shit. How did you get here? And what did you do in that temple? And what exactly <laughs> did you see in those visions? You're I asking a lot. Can't I just put my met finger you. on it, but there's something strange about you. Don't put your finger on and it. And that makes me curious. <laughs> so, healing for information. What do you say? There's all kinds of stuff that you're interested in that I'm not interested in telling. Healing for information. Okay, fine. Then shoot. I'm eager to listen. And they talk all into the night. Mm, yes. I understand. My condolences for your loss. So that means you somehow survived this execution. And before you got washed ashore, you had this, what, this dream? In which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light. But I just told Correct. You. Yes, but it wasn't just a dream. It was more like a memory. The temple I saw in it was exactly the same as the one in the valley. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. I hope so. So your magical outburst didn't happen slowly as it usually does, but all of a sudden after this near-death experience. And with it came these visions. Right. Yeah. And uh, an extraordinary loss of body fat. Interesting. <laughs> I guess you know how absurd all this must sound, but somehow I believe you. Heck knows why, but I do. So, that means I'll introduce you to my employer. If anyone can help you, it's him. Huh. There is, however, one thing with which I could use a hand. The sooner we oh. get that done, the sooner we can start our journey to Ark. Um, really? Okay. Okay, then I'll help you. The faster I get rid of this fever, the better. <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> there are some things that need some explanation before we can get started, however. Where should I start? Take it you've noticed that in the past two and a half years, this world has fallen into political chaos, right? Civil wars, usurpers everywhere, you name it. And yeah. even though Enderol isn't directly affected by these wars going on everywhere, there are strange things happening here, too. Mm -hmm. Take the Woods Ears, for example. Go on. There have been an unusual number of reports of wanderers being attacked by them in the open, mm -hmm. which has never happened before. And the same goes for the Lost Ones, the, the Living Dead. Right. Until two years ago, they were a rather rare magical phenomenon. 
But now every other corpse not properly cremated starts walking again as if it were the most natural thing to do. Right. I'm listening. The strangest thing, Gosh. however, is what they call the red madness. <laughs> The rev mad, the red madness. <laughs> the rev okay. madness. Hmm. Uh, okay. Do you think the chaos would be in any way related to the rumors about Lightborn's deaths? Um. Well, tell me about the red madness. Yeah, there's. it's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their minds. Just a couple of weeks ago, for instance, there was a smith in Ark who slaughtered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the light while he was doing it. Or a young noblewoman who killed herself by setting her family estate on fire for no apparent reason. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen of them. That and the fact that the possessed's eyes glow red shortly before and during their deed has made people call it the red madness. <sighs> and just three days ago it happened again. Only this time, it was a magister from within the Holy Order itself. Right. He has an uncomfortably long belt. A magister. Right, you're not from here. <laughs> a magister is a kind of sage from the Holy God Order damn it. who teaches the young novices who are aspiring to become keepers or arcanists. Yeah, was his name. A man who had more than 60 winners on his back. <laughs> Couldn't they have put that a little to the side? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's I like know. that x ray picture that you sent. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Did I send that to you? Did Which one? Send it to you? both of us. What? Yeah. Well, it was. It's. It. I. I sent a text message that said. First, I sent a te text message that said something about breaking, <laughs> breaking my leg or my knee. <laughs> And then I send a text message that had an X-ray of the knee, right? Oh yeah. And, and uh -huh. then dangling well past the knee was the schlong and the X-ray. Like it was, this, it was like you know halfway down the shin, right? That's the kneecap, I think. <laughs> yeah, was, oh yeah. I just sent it as a as a funny joke, but that always cracks me up. Like get that out of the blue. Anyway, what what did he do? Oh. He killed fifteen novices and himself, according to the only eyewitness to survive. He entered the teaching room as usual to give a lecture on alchemy. <coughs> but instead, he gave a strange speech in which he explained that humanity is corrupt. Void, as he put it. And his eyes started glowing, he locked the door, and... Well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. You can imagine wow. the kind of uproar that caused. <coughs> so, the father's eyes were glowing red in our initial vision that first vision we had yeah that's what was going on with that okay so presumably he had this red madness business going on all right so what's your role in all this who said you work you said you work for the order but i take it you're no monk well i'm not exactly one for vows and austerity so no i'm no keeper i guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. And the Order hired me to do exactly that. They want to know how a highly intelligent man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And also, if there's a discernible pattern to how this malady, or whatever it is, chooses its victims. Okay. In other words, you're searching for his motives. How could I help you with that? I don't know anything about this Yarrow. True, but that's irrelevant. Yarrow grew up in a small village named Riverville, which isn't far from here. And according to some of the other wardens, he visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? Leave my eyes alone. Uh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Where should I start? Well, for starters, I needed to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. He was a childhood friend of Yarrow's, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. <clears throat> Secondly, a boy from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. I myself will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some torment. 
let's shed some light on this Yarrow and 